Arvind Thakur, thank you so much for joining us. So let me, we are talking about disruption today. So let me ask you, what is the most disruptive thing that you saw uh, in the information technology services space in the last year? Well, I think over the last couple of years, we've been seeing uh, all kinds of forces which have been impacting business. But perhaps there is nothing that has impacted it more mm -hmm. than technology itself. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, I think the characteristic of technology, particularly di digital technology, which uh, completely uh, replaces space and time uh, and distance is what is causing this particular disruption. Give us an illustration. So for example, uh, you know, if I want to do a voice of customer, mm. I don't have to give a survey and you know, get results from a survey. Mm. I just go to social media and you know, I can get uh, you know, what my customers think about me. <coughs> uh, so that's one great example you know, of uh, complete disruption of uh, time as well as distance. Mm. Uh, Okay, so when you say technology has been the disruption, you've sort of linked it to social media in one way, but there must be many other ways, right? There's well, there are other elements yeah, of technology yeah. as well. So, for example, mobility. Mm. <coughs> so, if I want to, uh, you know, empower my employees, mm. <coughs> the best way to do that is to reach out to them on a device which they are carrying all the time. Mm. So, mobility and mobile uh, technology is another great disruptor. Or, if I want to deliver a very personalized service, uh, uh, once again. Uh, you know, I can cr create that bit of information and give it to you on a mobile device, uh, which can be to my employee or my customer, anybody else. So I can provide a very personalized service also to my customers. So all these are factors which are truly, truly disruptive. And uh, if I really look at it, is uh, you know, it's a phenomena which we are perhaps experiencing after the industrial revolution you know that's the kind of impact uh, mm. this this disruption is having so what does this do to an organization like an iit technologies or what did well, it do well uh, to begin with it disrupts us because mm. we need to create yeah, new services yeah. uh, to be able to take advantage of these opportunities and uh, uh, to that extent uh, we need to transform our organization itself <coughs> so there are many elements of this service uh, which needs a relook for example, creative capabilities are now more important than just engineering capabilities. Mm -hmm. So customers uh, earlier used to tell us what they wanted and we would build it faster, cheaper, better than anybody else in the world. And now, uh, you know, customers look forward for us to tell them uh, what are opportunities of value add. So that itself is a fundamental disruption, you know, which we need to deal with by building that capability in the organization. And, and how have you done that when you talk about creative capability specifically? So many ways. Uh, so uh, for example, uh, it starts with the culture itself. <coughs> so for all these years, uh, you know, we've been building strong processes and we've borrowed concepts from the manufacturing industry mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, looked at quality uh, processes to be implemented and created all these frameworks, you know, like SEI, CMM, one, level one, two, three, four, five, and so on. <coughs> now, when we look at the definition of quality in a manufacturing industry, it is conformance to requirements. <coughs> so if there's a product and uh, you build it to that specification, it's inspected. If it's good quality, it's accepted. If it is not, it is rejected. But we're in the services business, and in the services business, conformance to requirement is a very basic experience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you need to deliver far more mm. than just conforming you know, to specifications of the contract. So fundamentally, that mindset has to be changed in the organization. And we've been at it now for a min <laughs> many years now, yeah, yeah. where we have to get our entire workforce to start thinking differently and uh, uh, you know, not just do what they're told to do well, but identify opportunities for value add. Right. So let me f f sort of flip forward now. If you were to look at the two or three things that are most likely to disrupt uh, businesses and business processes for uh, information technology services organizations like yours, what would they be? Particularly, let's say, 2016-17. Well, uh, to begin with, uh, I think some of the uh, emerging technologies are now becoming mainstream. So, you know, we talked about uh, social, mobile, um, analytics in the cloud. You mm, know, I think yeah, this is smack, yeah. smack. You know, that's now becoming fairly you know mainstream, mainstream. and uh, all your solutions need to integrate these capabilities, you know, to deliver value to your customers. But around the horizon, uh, there are also new emerging technologies. Uh, I think which we all need to embrace uh, the Internet of Things, for example. You know, where 
And now you have to look at sensors, uh, you know, to collect mammoth amount of data and information and make sense out of it and give it, you know, to your customers. Uh, robotics. Uh, so in fact, uh, that also is now becoming a reality, where uh, uh, you are looking at uh, uh, bots, you know, which are software mm -hmm. robots. Mm -hmm to do things uh, which you would have done repetitively manually. Mm. And in fact, that's going to be a huge disruptor. So robotics and automation are, are yeah. twin forces. Twin yeah. forces, you know, so, so that's another thing, mm. you know, which I think is going to be uh, fairly disruptive. So I would say in the immediate near future, you know, these are two things we have to get our arms around. Right, and, and one sort of target that you set yourself uh, for yourself in NIT. Well, to, uh, to begin with, uh, we have started uh, working in both these areas. Mm. And in fact, uh, we are uh, building partnerships with uh, organizations which have uh, built, you know, mm -hmm. which have these robots mm -hmm. so that we can integrate that, mm -hmm. you know, into our solution and offer it to our customers. So these are two immediate things that we So we'll be seeing in. NIT robots uh, going around the place soon. <laughs> we'll certainly be seeing uh, NIT solutions incorporating robots, robots. Uh, happening pretty soon. Right. Good luck for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bob. Thank you.